Now to an inspiring story of resilience and advocacy during this Transgender History Month. Veronica Fimbris is an HIV-positive trans woman whose journey from New York City to San Francisco transformed her life. Now the manager of clinical assistance and volunteers at the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Veronica's dedication to her community is extraordinary. Our Jose Martinez spent time with her discussing her journey and goals for the future. San Francisco transformed into a sanctuary for Veronica Fimbres after she received a life-altering HIV diagnosis in New York City over 20 years ago. Today, she embodies the strength and resilience that have marked her incredible journey. Coming here saved my life. When I was in New York City, they told me, get your things together because you're getting ready to die. And uh, that was pretty devastating. Of course, here it is years later, and I'm a long-term survivor of HIV and AIDS. So I'm very thankful. Today, Veronica serves as the manager of clinical assistance and volunteers at the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. But her path to this role was far from easy. When she arrived in San Francisco in 1996, she was reeling from the loss of her brother and partner to AIDS. Armed with just a little more than a handful of dollars and a heart full of determination, she made the city her home and dedicated her life to helping others navigate the challenges she once faced herself. The city has my heart. When Tony Bennett sings, he left his heart in San Francisco. Whenever I go away from San Francisco, my heart is still here. Her activism took root early on. As a child, she was deeply moved by images of civil rights struggles on television. At 17, she was inspired by the Stonewall riots she witnessed in New York City. The day that Stonewall happened, I was 17. I was walking around barefoot with love beads on and all, all that stuff. And, and people were running down Christopher Street with blood coming down, streaming down their faces. And I was like, what happened? What's going on? And that was the, the riots there at Stonewall. They happen right in front of my face. Clients can interact. At the San Francisco AIDS Foundation, Veronica leads a passionate team of clinical assistants and volunteers. Her advocacy focuses on ensuring that transgender individuals receive the health care they deserve. She says discrimination, lack of provider knowledge, and limited access to gender-affirming treatments are common obstacles. This can create an environment of mistrust and fear, discouraging many from seeking necessary medical attention. I work with the community that I love, which is my own community, and I'm able to give back to the trans community. Kyle Temple, Associate Vice President of Behavioral Health and Community Programs at the SF AIDS Foundation, says misgendering, invasive questioning, and outright discrimination often lead to a reluctance to engage with the healthcare system. The way that we think about the work that we do around HIV prevention is really a more like holistic approach and a whole person approach, right? So it's not just about um, access to medical care or medical interventions. It's also um, engaging folks around their mental health, around their substance user, um, their substance health, uh, having them connected with other folks in their community um, to provide social support. That's why Veronica's role is so important. To have somebody with Veronica's experience, um, you know, working in this context, it's hugely important um, in connecting the dots, right? And being able to pass on that knowledge and that wisdom um, to the next generation of providers. In 2023, the foundation delivered over 12,000 HIV tests and enrolled 3,100 people in its PrEP program. Veronica's dedicated efforts were crucial to these achievements. And Veronica's message is clear. Hope and support are always within reach. If you need help, always feel free to reach out for help. It is available. Mental health help, financial help, all different kinds of help are available. A help, Veronica says, shows that together we can uplift and empower those in need.